Well, you know what I said? I said, listen, you can do whatever you want. We can go to a comedy show. We can go, you know, whether it's dinner or whatever. We're going to do karaoke. Karaoke is a lost art. I mean, sure, you can get up there and not really try your best. But I mean, if, if you're if you're feeling legit or professional and you want to really, you know, get up in there, you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to do a good job with karaoke. And uh, honestly, uh, duets are better. So I, I take it I take it uh, very seriously. You know, we were up there just doing song after song. I mean, just killing it. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to look at how we can deploy applications to PCs with Intune using the built-in uh, Winget, right? If you don't know what that is, we'll get into it. And also, also a little trick to get around some of the Winget packages that, you know, might be giving us a hard time. I'm just saying, you know, us doing a karaoke, you know, concert tour, uh, you know, might not be a bad idea. The people were, people were loving it. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. I have so many tenants, I don't even know what I'm logging into anymore. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody. So today we're going to talk about some app deployment, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to go to Apps and Windows. And in case you didn't know, you can go to Add, and this Microsoft Store App New category essentially uses a combination of some new stuff in the, the Microsoft Store, uh, but also the Winget repository. So for example, if I search the store and type in VLC, you can see there's a Win32 version. So UWP, Universal Windows something, I forget what it stands for. Yeah, so that's the equivalent of so Media Player, VLC, UWP. Yeah, this is it right here. But if we wanted to get the traditional VLC, like the actual package app, we can use this and hit select, and uh, we're pretty much getting the app right from Winget. And you can see it looks very similar to a to a package as if we were doing it ourselves. Um, and you can just deploy that to a device, make it available, required, um, same way you would anything else. So that's a pretty easy way to kind of get some quick app packaging type stuff. All right, and on this client, when we open up the, uh, the company portal, we can see it's already here for us and we can just download and, and install it, right? So that's that's super easy and, you know, obviously kind of a no brainer there. And I'm glad I'm glad they have that. Right. But if we come back and we go to Windows apps and we go to add, I'm going to try a different one here. because Sometimes you do get this you get search the store app. I'm going to do Adobe because, you know, it would be great if we can grab some of those here. Adobe Creative Cloud Win32. Oh, well, that would be awesome. The selected app does not have a valid latest package version. Okay, well, what does that mean? And is there any way we could still get it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind for a minute. Um, and I'm going to go back here to Microsoft Store app new and hit select. So I have the Postman extension installed. And uh, if you don't have it, it's a Chrome extension to your Postman app, right? And what we can do is we can start recording the traffic and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna hit search the store, Adobe, and we're gonna click Creative Cloud and select. All right, we already did that. So now we can probably uh, stop the capture and let's open Postman. Okay, so if we go look at Postman and see what happened there, quite a few things did. So one thing you can see is this post happened. Um, and the post was, if we look at the body, let's actually make that look a little better. We basically posted the search Adobe. That was when we typed in the keyword and, you know, we posted and it came back with Creative Cloud and we clicked on Creative Cloud. So what happened when we clicked on Creative Cloud, right? We got this get. So if we click on this get, uh, you can see nothing came back, but look at the URL up there. So... It has this identifier. That's an actual package identifier. So it's looking for something which would make sense because it's saying, hey, this doesn't have a valid latest package version. OK, but it's got something right. So let's uh, just run a get manually. Ooh, and now we can see everything that came back. Well, would you look at this? This looks like a full creative cloud looking thing here. 
access everything Creative Cloud has to offer. So this looks like everything we would get in a typical manifest for an app. Um, so it is up here, right? So how do we actually get it then? So what we would have to do is put together a post call using this package. And we could very easily do that with the Microsoft Graph. So I'm gonna go to the Graph Explorer and log in. Um, so the first thing we have to do is we have to find the app endpoint and it would be device app management uh, mobile apps. That's in case you don't know, if we just run a get on there, those are all our apps in Intune for everything. Windows, mobile. All right, so we would have to make a post up here. So let's construct some JSON. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a folder and call this win get stuff. Obviously you can use a much better name than I did. Not very creative. And we can go ahead and make a new text document. A uh, new, why is it giving me all these options? I just want to make a, a text document. We're going to call this uh, creative cloud dot JSON. Okay. So we can do a few things here uh, is featured. So just so you're aware, this is everything that would be in the actual, let me show you what we're going to do here. Uh, I want to go look for the VLC one. So let's, uh, let's go search for that display name when, yeah. So if you look at what we're actually looking for here, here, let me go grab the package of one that's already up there. Okay. So this is everything we would need. So you can see, uh, is featured. Oh, data type. Like we basically have to make our own version of this, not the whole, um, not the icon, of course, but everything else here. So we're going to, uh, essentially have to fill all this in ourselves. So I'm going to walk you through that. So this is the template I would use, um, is featured false. Uh, we can actually make it featured. We could say true, true. We would do publisher Remember, with JSON. It's just, you know, quote, colon, new thing. Publisher is let's get that information from uh, Postman here. So what do we got here? Publisher is Adobe Inc. We can just copy that. We can kind of take all this information and, and fill it out ourselves. Okay, role, scope, tag, IDs, nothing there. Okay, we can do the O data type. O data type, uh, O data dot type. And the O data type obviously comes from there. Actually, that comes from the graph. So this one, Microsoft.graph.winget app. You can actually just, you can take some of these and put them in yourself. Right. Cause it's all coming from the same place. Uh, repository, repository type is Microsoft store. Developer will get from package again. So let's go back and look. I'm kind of, instead of pasting this, I'm just kind of showing you what, what we're doing here. Developer. So they leave developer in VLC. It can be blank in postman. Does it have a developer? I don't see a developer here. So we'll just say Adobe. Um, it probably doesn't matter as much. Now the package identifier, that is the package that we've been looking for here. So if I go back, that's this guy that we were able to search. So we're going to put that right in here. Okay. Um, install experience. So the install experience is, uh, I believe it's user or system. Let's go look at our graph call to see how we did that. Uh, fire install is featured, false information, 
install experience, run as account system. So we actually are going to want to take this piece right here and copy that as well. So we're going to want to just put that in here because that's going to have its own bracket inside. Okay. Oh, uh, good. Next is going to be, oh, uh, there's some privacy information, URL, and let's see if they provided that privacy URL. They did. So we can grab that. Why not, right? Be, be legitimate. Um, large icon. I don't believe there's an icon. So we're just going to put a null value. So we're going to say, oh, data type is Microsoft.graph.mime content. And this will give us a null value. Oh, will be, it'll give us the ability to put a null value in. And the type is a string okay and lastly we have three things we have description description display name and we have information url uh, so we can get all these from here so description we can just pull that right from here description okay beautiful uh, display name should be here as well unit package 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 name Adobe Creative Cloud that's good enough display name same thing and the information URL would be, let's put a colon there. I think I saw that. The information URL is going to be publisher URL, privacy, publisher support. I'll just use the publisher URL. That's, that's close enough. I'm pretty sure it, it doesn't really matter. It could be null, but whatever. All right, so now we have JSON. I'm going to copy this, and we're going to go back to the graph. And we're going to go to our mobile apps one. Right. Um, so again, that's all mobile apps. But we are going to post. So we're going to post and the body is going to be everything we just typed. So let's run the query. All right. We got a 201 created. So what does that mean? It's very exciting. We're going to go back to apps, windows, Adobe Creative Cloud. Oh, there we go. Access every, yeah, look, this is everything we put in here. Win32, information, we can assign it. Nice. Those are the URLs I put in. Um, and I believe I can put my logo in now. All right, so I'm going to assign that to all users. And we'll see if it shows up in the company portal. Okay, so if we come back to the company portal... You can see I can click on Adobe Creative Cloud. I got the logo. I got my full description. That was from the package. And I can install it right from here. Now, obviously, if a package isn't ready or if it comes back that they don't have the latest one, you obviously want to do your due diligence. There might be a reason Microsoft doesn't have it up there. But I think it's interesting um, that for those, you know, if we want to use the WinGet versions and it's there and... Uh, you know, there actually are a lot, unfortunately, that say they're not ready or they're not compatible. It's kind of cool that we're able to go through and find where the repository is and with really not a lot of effort post it. And that's kind of the cool stuff we like to do. So I um, thought it was really interesting. If you do try, if you are trying to use this and you haven't maybe moved on to the built-in Intune suite with the enterprise app management or if it doesn't have everything you're looking for, uh, definitely worth checking out. So we'll be seeing you.